well, well, well. All right, so you lead? Yeah, so you can go the stop sign, take a left, and take a right. I, and then uh, I think that's Comanche right here. I believe it is. I want to give a huge shout out to the team over here at Lindell Brakes. We got some goodies for y'all. Dog, best believe it's gonna be dope. Hello again, we're back in the gay garage. <laughs> y'all, we got some news for y'all. Straight to it. Look at that, what do we have here? This is a 13 inch Lindel brake rotor. We're swapping out a rotor as well as our brake calc, but one of the things to note, if you are gonna be going with a bigger rotor in the front, you're gonna need some sort of adapter for your caliper. Magically appearing in my hands is gonna be a Takiko radio caliper, which we're doing a radio conversion as well, and since we were bumping up to the 13 inch rotor, we decided to go with the Speed Merchant radial caliper mount. This is what you're going to need if you're going to be doing a bigger road. And one of the things that we also ended up getting from Lindell Brakes was a set of these, I believe it's carbon composite. Essentially, it's what we have our extreme pads, which is you have your synthetic, you have your gold, and you have your extremes. According to Lindell, that goes by the tiers of abrasiveness and your stopping power, where pretty much the extreme is quote unquote race shit. With the carbon composite, it's above that. This is like NASA stuff. It's going to stop you on a dime. You even breathe on the brake lever. You're stopped. Endos. Stoppies. Done. But I want to give a huge shout out to Paul and the team over at Lindell Brakes. Thank you so much for the hospitality and we always appreciate the support. Huge thank you. And now we're going to jump into this and get the rotor jumped on. A quick overview of what you're going to be doing is you're going to need some sort of lift to lift the bike up in order to move your front wheel axle so you can have access to the tire to the front rotor. Remove those and then you're going to be adding your new rotor as well as the new caliper mount. The initial mock-up, whenever I did the caliper, it looked like our original brake line was gonna fit. This is already an aftermarket one that we got from Drag Specialties. This is a Magnum. I think this one's 44 inches or 45. I can't recall, but it's either one of those two. From the stock one, it was about 41 or 42. One of those, whatever the stock, I believe it was 41 and this is 43, somewhere. This is a longer one than stock. The radio caliper mounts for the brake line, it's a lot lower and it would have been just too taut, where say this is the bottom fitting that the original brake line had some sort of a bend like that, that after doing the caliper, it was gonna be real tight, that in the event of a full extension when I'm riding, i.e. hit a pothole, jump off a curb, something, fall off a mountain, <laughs> that it may have extended and popped off or caused some damage to either the fitting or the caliper, and just to be on the side of caution, we decided to swap it out. We have Oscar over here, he's helping us out, keeping us comfy today. And so we already went ahead and swapped it out. It's fairly straightforward if you've never done it. Pretty much what you wanna do is remove as much fluid as you can on your master cylinder, if not all of it. But if you have ABS, 
you're going to want to do it through a vacuum. Otherwise, you're going to get air inside your ABS module, and then you're going to have to go to your local hardware dealership to have them flush it and reset it. But you can do it. Just expect that you're going to have to go to your dealership and incur some sort of a cost for them to vacuum your system. But this time go around, we decided not to go with ABS because on the dyno, we had it. We loved it. But when it came time to wrenching and doing brake line stuff, didn't want to have to go to dealership. So we said, adios ABS. Let's have some fun with it. And so now what we're going to be doing is bleeding the brakes. We're going to be filling it with DOT4 brake fluid from Harley, filling it up, pumping the brakes, getting the calipers going to make sure everything fits, works, and going. And once it's all done without any air bubbles, then we'll be good to go and rock on. Harley Davidson DOT4 brake fluid, the best in brake fluid.